video by learn 21 where we create courses for 21 century skills so in this video we'll look at youtube's uh, analytics api the api which gives us uh, data about analytics of the channel right so these are the steps we will take we'll go through the documentation of the api and uh, we send certain sample requests to the api just to see how it is working and then we'll uh, call this api from our code as well okay so let's get started so i'll just open the link of uh, the api documentation in the browser okay right we'll read a little bit about the api first uh, any api you want to work with first understand what exactly it is and how it uh, what data it is giving us right so this is uh, youtube's analytics api right all the analytics um, if you have a channel you will know that you get a lot of data or youtube records for you uh, that you can use to understand uh, your users better right and uh, there are two apis for this one is reporting api one is uh, the analytics api so we'll uh, uh, talk more about the analytics api okay uh, so you can use the reports to understand the the viewing statistics trends in your youtube channel uh, etc right uh, so matrix and dimension so matrix are uh, the sort of values that you want to see so maybe views can be one matrix likes dislikes etc and dimension are uh, how you want to aggregate the data maybe by day you want to aggregate or by year you want to aggregate okay so we'll see all this uh, then uh, we'll send certain request through the there's a tool by google uh, which we will see and see how this api is working then we'll have to create a project on uh, on the google console just to use the api in our code and uh, then we'll create credentials and enable this api and finally uh, we will send sample request to this api using our code okay so uh, i think this is uh, this is the step we are at so let's quickly finish it right so overview uh, just a little bit about the api gives you the metrics and uh, all the different details for the channel right dimension matrix is, is what is written here common criteria and matrix are the individual measurement like uh, perf ad performance revenue etc so the two apis as we said uh, youtube analytics api this is what we are looking for okay uh, then there is uh, authorization right uh, different kind of authorization you can use mostly uh, OAuth 2 is what is supported here right uh, we'll see this part more uh, in the other uh, when we will call this API from our code and finally that targeted queries uh, this is the YouTube analytics API which we can use to call the uh, data of the channel to find the data of the channel right so i'll uh, send certain sample requests right uh, say this is a very simple request uh, just want to see the views per day so if you click here right wait some time i mean um, it takes a little while but uh, a window will open right so here i'll just mention some date right i want to from this date uh, from this date to this date i want to see the number of views on my channel okay and then when i execute it it asks me to log into the channel to the account uh, to which the channel is uh, connected right and so i get certain data back right so uh, i can see this uh, different metric right uh, day so these are the column headers uh, traffic source right uh, from where the the traffic is coming number of views and uh, the minutes watched so four columns are there so uh, you can see from youtube search 58 uh, views were there on first and the minute watched were 177 no link other i think some kind of so external uh, 10 views were there subscribers uh, 7 views were there related videos 5 views were there and uh, other page and notification 1 view was there youtube search 58 views were there 
and then the next day starts right uh, so we get a lot of data so this is I think uh, the step two uh, this we have done right now moving on uh, let's go to console.cloud.com so this is uh, the Google Cloud console where you get a lot of uh, different services of Google on the for the console that they have uh, also called the Google Cloud Platform right so here what you can do is uh, uh, you can if you want to use the API in your project in your own application you have to create a project so I'll just uh, create a project new project give it uh, some sample name okay my project whatever okay and then so the project is being created uh, sometimes it takes time right the project is created uh, then in this project I have to enable this API so you can see a uh, lot of uh, lot of things are here right and on the left panel also you can see a lot of services uh, Google is also trying to uh, extend their service like uh, like AWS right so enable APIs and services you have to go and you have to search for the YouTube analytics API because that is what we want to use in our code right there are a lot of APIs of Google uh, that you can use uh, using this project so these these two are different APIs but just in this sort of video we'll uh, look at this API we'll enable it right so once once it's enabled yeah it's enabled now so we go to our project and and we create credentials okay we create credentials and we have to create OAuth credentials okay so to create the credentials first you have to configure consent screen this is basically the screen which comes uh, once once you uh, use the OAuth right and, and a little bit about OAuth right OAuth is uh, open authentication so basically if uh, your application wants data from some third party application say like YouTube right you are uh, you have created an application which takes data from YouTube so there uh, what you can do is uh, ask the customer to enter the Google credentials so that they can give access to their YouTube account and from there you get that data right so for this OAuth screen you can do external right and then just give some name so I'll say YouTube uh, analytics test something like that right any random name uh, once you have to provide a support email I'll just give the email of this the rest you can uh, just developer email also you have to provide and rest I think is fine for now this just demo purpose also this is important test user you have to uh, give a test user right some email of a user otherwise it will not work if there is no test user so I've just added one okay and uh, save and continue that's it uh, now we can go and create OAuth credentials for this uh, project right so we can go on create credentials and uh, then OAuth credentials an application type you can uh, choose so here we are just we'll call it from uh, desktop right to uh, write a simple script so I'm creating desktop app uh, desktop app and I'll just give some name right just to remember so OAuth is created so I'll just download these these credentials because this when I'm calling the the API uh, then I will need these 
credentials right so this is downloaded okay right I'll just uh, rename these client secret it's a seven okay and I'll move it to desktop just for okay uh, that is it uh, I'll just uh, yeah I think that is it we have the uh, sort of all the steps there just we need some sample code the sample code also you can find uh, in the target queries if you go uh, you will find the sample code here right this is a sample code I'll copy this and uh, I'll create a file save it as say YouTube analytics v2.py okay this is the file and here I will uh, add the client secret 7 right this is the file we downloaded okay, right and also change the date Someday. basically this code uh, says that from this API uh, YouTube analytics I want uh, my channel um, these matrix I want remember matrix and dimension so I want the minutes watched views like subscriber gained and and uh, and dimension is the aggregation by day I want right and sorting should be by day and these matrix uh, of course there there are a lot uh, many then what we have just written remember the sample request which for which we were seeing right so there we we saw different metric right so you can choose any so see dislikes is also one metric and uh, what else different kind of metrics click through rate etc right so for the sample purpose these are the ones right and uh, yeah, I think now we can try it out once. Uh, so I'll do Python three, YouTube Analytics v two. Right, this is the file. And uh, when I run this you know, with Python, so this is a Python script, right? Uh, then if I put it, um, I get some URL back. So please visit this URL. So I visit that URL. Uh, I'll get some access code uh, the developer has not given you the access mm. okay let's see so we had given the access this is the test user thing right uh, test users we have not added so you have to go to test user and add I added it I don't know why this did not work right okay I have to do save two times <laughs> so now it's added no problem okay again uh, got some URL I have to go to uh, to sort of give Is not verified but it's okay we have to, to continue and again continue this is that uh, consent screen right so you can totally uh, customize this screen so finally you get a code and uh, yep you got the data right this is the data we wanted so I'll just make it bigger so column headers are uh, day right and estimated minutes watched views and likes right and subscriber gained right this is what uh, we asked in our code right uh, one to uh, uh, four sort of uh, uh, metric and by day right um, sort of aggregation by day so dimension was day 
matrix were these right so we got this data and and uh, and based on uh, basic your use case you can you can define what kind of data you want in your application so yeah this is it uh, very small demo uh, where we looked at how you can go through the documentation try to understand what this api is about you can also use the google tool to uh, ping this api and finally create a project create credentials api key is non needed just OAuth is fine and enable this youtube uh, api in your project and then finally uh, use the sample uh, code to call this api right this is in python and uh, you can get it in uh, other languages as well right so yeah this is it uh, please let me know if you have any questions and and for such more videos please uh, like share and subscribe thanks